the lineup for the final of the men's 100 meters. Two Britons in there, and Jimmy Vico, the fastest qualifier, goes for France in lane four. There's Richard Kilty, known for his starts, but he did finish quite strongly to make it to this final. And again, a man with a point to prove. Didn't make qualification for the individual 100 in Rio, will be there as part of the relay squad. 10-0-1 last week in, uh, in Northumberland. Kim Collins was out so quickly in his heat, and then just uh, faded a little bit. And again, can he cope with running two races within an hour and a half of each other? Sometimes can't cramp up. Isaiah Young goes in lane three for the United States. And there is Jimmy Vico, the only man below 10 seconds in the, the heats. And has run 9.86 this season. And he go close to that. Julian Fort, well, he delivered because he's better known as a 200 man, but a 10.05 personal best to uh, chase Vico home. And there on his place, CJ Uja won his heat. Not disappointing times in that heat, but Uja was clear of the rest. And earns the cheers as a result. Third place in the US trials for Marvin Bracey, which uh, tells you about the caliber of this man. He'll be heading to Rio. Chirandi Martin up. He won the 100 in uh, Amsterdam in the European Championships recently. Made the final of the 100 and 200 here four years ago. Mike Rogers, what experience he has, and always a great starter. And he goes on the outside in lane nine. Again, so many of the races have been delivering in terms of times. But perhaps the time slightly disappointing in the heats for of the 100. Uh, Jimmy Vico, 9.95, it was rounded down to. And he starts here as the favourite. Going in lane four, you get Richard Kilty on the inside. Kim Collins in lane two, Isaiah Young in three. Jimmy Vico in four. Julian Fort of Jamaica in five. CJ Uja goes in six. Marvin Bracey in seven. Chirandi Martina in eight. And then Mike Rogers on the outside in lane nine. Final of the men's 100 meters. Murmur from the crowd, just asked to stand up. There wasn't any noise going on, so this must have been something that's uh, the starter's not happy with. I was scanning around there, Andrew, and I couldn't see exactly what's going on, but you see, green mark has gone up, so none of the athletes are at fault, and they have to settle themselves again. It was just a, a technical. Do not argue with her. Kilty, Collins, Young. Jimmy Vico, Julian Fort, CJ Uja, Marvin Bracey alongside him, Gerandi Martina, and uh, Mike Rogers. Vico once again settles in, and once again the stadium falls silent. Cleanly away, a very good start from Isaiah Young alongside Jimmy Vico. Vico trying to get back on side, and Bracey is there as well. But here comes Vico, and it's Young, and it's Vico, and it's Jimmy Vico for the line, and he takes it just ahead of Young. 10 0 3. Vico takes the victory, and on a night of extraordinary achievements, perhaps something of an anti climax, with the men's 100 metres being won in 10 0 3. But Jimmy Vico did what he had to do. He won his heat, he won the final, he heads to Rio as a contender, but I think a few of these uh, sprinters will be slightly disappointed that they, they couldn't deliver quicker times tonight. That looked like real hard work, didn't it? He had to haul himself through the field to get to the line first in only, and I mean that, in only 10-0-2. But as you say, the victory is always going to be key. Let's have a look at this race and see exactly how it all pans out. Jimmy Vico there right in the middle of the field. Gets out quite well, but he gets up right really quickly. He's never one of these athletes who drives out the blocks. He gets into his running very, very quickly. And that's why you see he kind of loses ground and then gains it as he starts to haul himself through that. I think all of them may be a bit disappointed when they see uh, and read down the clock of the performances. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, Jimmy Vico didn't get the best of starts. Also, watch out for Kim Collins, we highlighted. He just can't last the rounds anyway. Can't do round after round, and he fades and he pulls up. 
pretty much in the end, but uh, Vico powering through. I think we've just been spoiled this evening. We're expecting miracles and magic to happen every time every athlete steps on the track, but uh, Vico was pretty impressive, and I'm sure he'll be a, a contender for the final in, uh, in Rio. No, you're so right. You know, we've been treated to some, some great athletics already, so I guess there's a lot of pressure on these sprinters to try and produce something because there's, um, there's somebody who's lining up very, very soon who's a decent sprinter as well, I hear. Yes, the men's 200 is not usually the Blue Ribbon event, but it might take, uh, might take the, the highlights this evening. But uh, Jimmy Vico, again, a deserved winner after uh, running the quickest time of the evening in the heat and then in the final doing enough to take the victory just outside 10 seconds. So Jimmy Vico, again, we said he was disappointing at the European Championships, finished fifth there, but he's much, much better than that. And he will go to Rio in decent condition. Well, Jimmy Vico is just taking a moment